Hey, Gemini, this is Soul. And Gemini, this is your week ahead. We're going to take a look at your energies for this upcoming week. Uh, energies are going to start May 25th and end on May 31st, 2020. The messages will be for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Gemini Rising signs. My fellow twins, I hope all is well. Of course, you know my opening thing is I hope everyone is staying positive, being strong. I'm encouraging you uh, to be strong and positive and also to be safe. I want to wish all the uh, Geminis who are celebrating their birthdays this uh, week, yeah, during this week, a very happy and safe birthday celebration and also happy Memorial Day to you all. All right, so new week, new energy, Gemini. I'm going to, um, actually, I'm using a, a different tarot deck. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams, Cyril Marchetti's deck to deliver your messages. So with that being said, Sit back and I hope you enjoy your energy. All right, so we're going to look at some energies for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Gemini Rising signs. Yes. My fellow twins, what's going on? I'm not sure if I used this deck before, but uh, I just was searching for a deck to use. It's, the cards are very stiff, so I can't shuffle them the way I want. I think they're all in the upright position as well. So let's see what happens and see what our energy is going to be. All right, energy for Gemini. Oops, Gemini. We want to start the shadow card energy off for you, Gemini. And we're going to begin with, well, it's your energy. Well, look at that there. Whoa, three of swords. Wow, right off the bat. All right, so let's get into this energy here. You know I don't like the Three of Swords, but it is representing you, Libra and Aquarius. So the Three of Swords always represents that energy of sadness, grief, grief separation, heartache. Uh, this could also uh, indicate uh, pending divorces. Uh, it could also uh, indicate, you know, uh, a separation or a distance between you and another person. Now, I'm clarifying that because it doesn't necessarily always have to be a romantic partnership. It could be family members. So I'm going to throw that in there uh, as well. It could be a separation type of energy going on with you and a family member or a close friend. And it could include a, um, you know, a romantic partnership. Also, too, I always pick up, you know, like a loss of a pet or something like that. Not a, a physical loss, just, uh, you know, they get out or something or, you know, you lose the pet or they get out of the house, the yard or whatever, and you can't find them. And so this could be the grieving that is going on with uh, you and um, others who are connected to this uh, animal. All right. So this three of swords here is um, always relative to uh, interference is always another party that's involved. It could be male or female when it does uh, you know, include romantic partnerships, but it could be a friendship as well. Remember, this is an open general reading here, Gemini. So you take this energy for what it stands for. All right. And if it does at all uh, relate to you and, and how it may uh, relate to the other cards that are going to be selected for you. OK, so three of swords is here in the upright position. And at least we got that out of the way. Right. Your focus, however, is the major arcana, the strength card. So it doesn't really matter what's going on with the three of swords. If you are dealing with the three of swords energy, uh, Gemini, that this strength card comes in here. Major arcana says that you're going to have the courage and the strength and the power to overcome any obstacles or challenges that may come your way this upcoming week. This is a card that starts you off. So it's the focus for you for the entire week. You got strength on your side. Strength card represents uh, Leo the Lion and other fire signs, Aries and uh, Sagittarius. So strength, feeling uh, courageous, feeling powerful. This is a card of sexual energy, sexual expression, some, something to do with passion. Uh, all that can uh, come into play as well. So we're starting off pretty good there. Now we have more of your energy here, and I like when the energy shows up for the sign that I'm reading for, because now we have the Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords is um, determined, okay? This is about making major moves and making major uh, decisions. Notice it's crossing, and it's uh, representing your immediate environment as well. So that's something that's uh, coming up for some of you. So maybe the Strength card is there for a reason. The Strength card could be, that you have to make a uh, decision that is major. You may have to make a ma uh, move, but because it's in the upright, you um, possibly have gained enough clarity, Gemini, 
uh, definitely gained enough strength to go ahead and move forward with any major moves or decision makings. OK, that's what this uh, Queen of Swords is all about. It could also represent male energies as well. But there is a whole aspect of being determined behind those moves or those decisions that you may be um, having to deal with this upcoming week. OK, so we got that. So that's you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And now we have, all right, so there are some cards here in the uh, reverse position. I, I beg to differ. But you know what? The next card coming up after this is uh, a very positive and favorable card. It represents your energy. Now we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is showing up here in the uh, reverse position. And just to show you what it looks like in the upright position. Now, when the Knight of Cups, because this could represent an actual person, or it could represent uh, the attributes and, uh, you know, someone is dealing with those energies when it's in the reverse position. That means that someone is not emotionally dependable. Somebody is either emotionally upset or distraught about something in particular. And then you would have to fill in the energies or fill in the blanks to, um, you know, for whatever situation is going on with you and your current life situation. Uh, it does represent relationships. So it could be family. It could be romantic partnerships. It could be friendships. Uh, it could be an extension of family. Uh, someone could be feeling some type of way, feeling like, you know, you're over uh, emotional or you're feeling some type of way emotionally. It could be pertaining to, hey, maybe the, you know, the queen of swords and having to make some sort of major move or major decision. It may not be uh, something that is related to you, but it could be against someone else that you are close in association with. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces represents that knight of cups that's in the uh, reverse position. Now you have another favorable card, and this is the energy that represents you overall, and this is the lovers, okay? So we have the lovers for Gemini, and uh, I was kind of like, when the knight of cups showed up, I figured figured in the reverse position that, okay, well, for the Geminis who are celebrating their birthdays, I said, well, there might be something that may be linked to that, but I didn't want to go into depth with that energy. But now we have the lover's card. So this is for all the Geminis who are celebrating this upcoming week that all is well. Okay. All is well. It's about partnerships. It's about harmony. It's about peace. It's about uh, new developments and relationships of all kinds. It could be business, the formation of business partnerships and whatnot. Seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page. Um, yes, it could be romantic chemistry. And I like this card here. Look at that. OK, this could be self-love, you know, loving yourself. And um that could be for those, uh, you know, Gemini's out there who uh, really take pride in their, you know, their own selves and, and, of course, their relationships with other people, but more yourself than anything. OK, so that you care about yourself, you love yourself and um, it's looking good. All right. So the lovers are showing up here that represent you uh, specifically, Gemini. And then, of course, the other air signs, Aquarius and Libra. Wow. Now we have more of your energies here. This is the five of swords. OK, so the five of swords is showing up here. This is dynamic in terms of the elements showing up for um, my uh, fellow. Uh, yeah, fellow moon sign Gemini. So this is interesting energy. So this is uh, major, not major, minor conflicting energies it could be internal uh when it comes to the internal side gemini it could be just you trying to sort some things out uh and place them um you know in the proper place um yeah proper perspective or put it in the proper place uh, is it a, you know it's a five so don't worry about it too much i always say the fives and tens is potential energy to come and then it's not the energy you know type of energy that's going to stick around too long so whatever it is that you need to um figure out or sort out whether it's on an internal um basis or if it's you know related to external uh energies frictions coming in from other people remember you have the strength card that's on your side so you have in all that power and all that energy and plus you have your own energy here to help you along the path if you are you know forced not really forced let me just change my words here not really forced but if you are encounter any types of conflicts um you know like i said whether it's uh, dealing with internal issues or uh external issues sorting those energies out and coming to some sort of resolve all right following that is a okay we have another card that's in the reverse and this is a court card queen of pentacles 
So the Queen of Pentacles is showing up here in the reverse just to show you what it looks like in the uh, upright position. Again, when these court cards show up here, just like the Knight of Cups, uh, someone is not reliable when it comes to the emotional department. When it comes to the Queen, someone is definitely uh, not dependable or reliable when it comes to finances. It could be that, you know, uh, involving the workplace environment, um, bosses aren't, you know, <laughs> giving out those favors or if it's out in the business world and, you know, creditors or, or whatnot are not being so generous. It's a card of generosity. If it is the uh, attributes of an actual person, now the attributes of the energy could just be for those Geminis who uh, aren't handling their money or the financial situations too well. They are gamblers. They're, uh, they take money risk and frivolous, okay? Frivolous when it comes to their money and income. So I would be very, very careful, even though you have some good cards to uh, support you this upcoming week, the strength card and the lover's card, still might be something going on here uh, when it comes to uh, Gemini and their finances. Now, I could possibly, okay, there's a loss here. There's a loss. And because it is a queen, it is a major loss. Someone I'm speaking to is uh, going to be um, possibly experiencing or expecting some sort of financial loss. I don't want to say when it comes to work, it, it could mean you know, like a job loss. And maybe this is the reason why the three of swords is showing up here as the shadow for you. It's a separation of some type of energy. So um, you guys throw the comments in and let me know how this energy unfolds for you. I don't like to, I like to give you the energy as I see it and as I feel it, but uh, I, I can only go through um, knowing what, you know, the messages are unless I receive some sort of uh, validation through the comments. So, be careful, okay? And maybe this is, too, the reason why the uh, cups is in the uh, reverse as well. Somebody either loses a job and then someone could be losing uh, something to do with money. I feel it's major, major money. Taurus Capricorn Virgo represents that queen of pentacles in the reverse position. What we have next is the seven of coins. So, okay, all is not bad. The seven of coins is paying attention to details of the work that you are doing. This is a card of options. Now, still, even though the queen is showing up here in the reverse position, this is still someone who can, you know, get a pay raise, get that job and, you know, possibly get a bonus. Um, I see that. <laughs> okay. Somebody still... <laughs> I was talking about animals with the three of swords. She has a dog. So someone could be purchasing or rescuing a animal or a dog, cat, any type of animal. Money's involved or it could be just a, a charitable donation for, um, you know, purchasing the dog or, you know, rescuing the dog or cat or whatever the animal is. So this is still a good card. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female represents that energy. All right. So what we're going to finish off with is the two of uh, coins, and that's in the reverse as well. And this is actually pretty good, Gemini, because the two of pentacles in the upright is always about an imbalance, a small imbalance of you juggling two things. It could be two relationships, two jobs. It could be uh, two situations. Well, in the reverse position, as I read it, is that you are um, getting control or getting back in control of something that was, um, you know, relative to you as far as a small imbalance. Now, that could be work energies. That could be, you know, finally, even though I talked about financial loss with the queen, someone having to slowly but surely uh, do a little bit of recovery with their finances. This could be, um, you know, indicating part time work uh, still could uh, indicate money, you know, coming in. Um, but things being balanced, coming back into balance. All right. So that's a good uh, card to receive. See, oftentimes, you know, a lot of people freak out about, you know, cards that are in the reverse, but for me, how I interpret it, it could mean so many things. Okay. And with two of coins showing up here it, for me is good. Seven, of, seven of cups is another one that's when it's in the reverse, I read that differently and it's always good energy. 
Okay, not that the seven of cups is not good energy in the upright, but I just interpret it differently when it's in the reverse position. I always pick up a different meaning and a different message. So in this case for you, Gemini, I'm picking up the same thing that something is um, that was off balance a little bit. Now it's coming back into uh, balance for you, but slowly. OK, that's the two because it's only a number two. So it's slowly um, coming back into balance and some of you are making a little bit of progress or headway in a situation. OK, so that's what I have for you, Gemini. Um, whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, I always encourage you to do it safely. Please stay positive. Please stay strong and always be encouraged. OK, so until I talk to you again, love and light. Bye.